Rookie linebacker Justin Hollins hasn't had it easy in his first NFL training camp. Making the NFL leap is a struggle for every rookie, but it's compounded exponentially when a team asks a young player just entering the league to learn two positions. Such has been the case for Hollins, who's been learning to play both outside and inside linebacker. Although they're both linebacker positions, the two roles couldn't be more different. However, if you're wondering why, on the heels of the Broncos taking a similar tack with Demarcus Walker and failing, the team is asking so much of Hollins, the answer really comes down to this. Vic Fangio believes Hollins can do it. On Thursday, Fangio said that Hollins has looked good, but quote, it is a heavy load mentally for him. At times he struggles with it, but that is to be expected. I think he can do it. Close quote. Fangio wasn't quite as flattering in his remarks about Hollins following the Broncos' joint practice session with the Niners, where the head coach elaborated a bit more on what his observations of Hollins have been. Fangio said, quote, I see a lot of stuff, some good and some not so good, but I do think he can play in there eventually. He's obviously going through a major learning experience, and we're teaching him outside linebacker at the same time, so he's got a lot on his plate. I think in light of all that, he's doing good, but he's still got a ways to go. Close quote. Holland saw a few snaps at inside linebacker in the Hall of Fame game, but in Game 2 versus Seattle, he saw a significant uptick off the ball. In Game 1, Hollins played 38% of the Broncos' defensive snaps, but in Game 2, that percentage rose to 55, many of which were at ILB. The Broncos might not have put so much on Hollins' plate so early, had the team not suffered a rash of injuries early to the inside linebacker position. Since Game 2, the Broncos have focused Hollins' practice reps even more so at inside linebacker. He brings six foot five length to the table and surprising speed and athleticism for a player of his size. When he and the six foot two Alexander Johnson are both on the field together at inside linebacker, the Broncos' defense takes on a whole new look. Hollins was a career edge rusher at Oregon, but shined at inside linebacker in the East-West Shrine game, earning MVP honors. His performance in that game influenced the Broncos' belief in his ability to play off the ball right out of the gates. Only time will tell how well Hollins will manage this unique rookie responsibility, but his football IQ is high and he's got a lot of talent, which is why the Broncos remain steadfast in their push to play him at both linebacker spots. From Mile High Huddle in the Maven, I'm Chad Jensen.